and you guys tell me that time gates don't exist. You guys like, no time gates don't you too much in this shit. Time gates don't it. What is this? <laughs> it's, I'm sorry, did I miss uh, a cult girl scroll? I must have missed it. Is, it. is it coming to the guild shop? Is that what the shift is? Oh my god, by the way, I want to mention something about uh, the shift to you uh, in a bit. What's up, what's up, everybody? Today, we're not talking about too much about <laughs> Winter Cult Girls. <laughs> Come on, man. Time gates don't exist. I mean, everything says that time gates don't exist, but yet... How do you explain some of this? It's just very, 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 very coincidental sometimes, isn't it? Anyway, what did I did I say what's up, what's up? Did we get past that part? Okay, what's up? No, I, I already said that, I already said that. Uh, today, we are gonna quad Inugami. Oh, <laughs> another quad Inugami video. We got some Guild Wars to do as well. We also have, should I transcend and scroll on Europe account today? We're on China server account. Should I transcend and scroll? On the Europe server account as well, or should you know what? I will keep that actually. Or should we do that on stream? We might do it on stream. We need some fun. Yeah, there we go. We need some fun stream content. Anyway, uh, I said what's up, what's up, everybody. Uh, this is we were doing quad Inugami Necro, right? I know you guys probably remember that because I did like five billion videos. I didn't. I did like two videos on it. It wasn't like five billion, but that team was working so good. We actually got a new. New best score, and then I was like, I, I had tried to previously do uh, Quad Indugami Dragons B10, and uh, we were doing with Lucian and Quad Indugami. This is going to be a new best score, isn't it? I feel like it's going to be another new best score. Every time I run it, it's a new best, it's a new best time every time I run it. Every time I run it, it's a new best time. But this has been very consistent, and for a Dragons B10 speed team with only three stars... Especially three stars that you can use, like you could use Kali for yeah, Guild Wars and everything. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll use Kali in Guild Wars, why not? Uh, practice what you preach, or what not. <laughs> practice what you preach. I think we're practicing what do we preach by doing this in Dragon's Head. But, um, I, but I noticed that Kali was actually the key uh, to making this very consistent, very reliable uh, for dragons, right? So we have the Lucian and the four Inigamis, four Necro. Uh, and then this actually was what we needed for dragons to make this more consistent because they don't have amazing crit rate, these Inugamis, right? So, is this a new best time? Every time we run it, it's a new best time. No, it's like 29. Yeah, oh, it's 35, it's 35, 35. Oh man, I can't even believe how embarrassing. It could be like a Chow Rune. We don't have a Chow. I, I don't know what we're gonna do with the Chow Rune with no Chow, but just in case we eventually get a Chow. Just in case. There we go. But uh, yeah, I just thought I would, and I'll show you guys the runes. But it's basically the Necro team mi- Jeez! <laughs> okay. It's basically the Necro team minus the Lucian add the uh, Kali. Because actually, if we take the, if we put the Lucian back in here, it starts to fail. Weirdly enough, you're like, no Bagel, it should, it should do fine. It might, it might succeed a few times, but uh, it fails more often than, uh, than, and that's why I really wasn't running this team before. 30s. It's a pretty fat. I love these Inugamis, man. I really love these Inugamis. Like, jeez. Every time I build, like, another Inugami. By the way, this is a... That's not an arena Lucian. That's not a fat Lucian. It's not a fast Lucian. It's neither of those. This is just for uh, dungeons. That was... This is just for Necro. Um, that's what we built them for. But Necro and, and, uh, and Giants. I don't even know what the Giants team is on here. I think it's a pretty good Giants team, but I don't think... Uh, I don't remember what the, t the team is on here. Anyway... Blah, blah, blah. The crit rate, though. Between the crit rate, the speed buff, the ignore defense, and the uh, attack power buff is every basically everything we needed uh, to make this consistent for dragons, right? Now he puts the immunity on, and now we have a hard time because we don't have any defense breaks, right? Watch this. We don't have any ignore defense. So we could still... Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say we could still win this, but this is the this is the kind of the problem that uh, that I was having with this is this is the same team as the Necro team, right? Which is what I was trying to explain. Same team as the Necro team, which is rank uh, six on the China server leaderboards. <laughs> it looks so weird. It's like, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Fighter three. <laughs> oh, I love it. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so dragons, we are at, we are at 9.52. That's not bad with all three stars. You know by the time, the next video is going to be like, guys, we made it to rank three. <laughs> it's not going to be rank three with this team. But, um, 
Let me show you again. That Kali's got to be on the most budget, ghetto, wacky, wacky runes. I already know. Just wait for a second awakening. It's going to be two weeks. What? No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just uh, trolling you. I'm trolling you. But if if she is, uh, so uh, just attack or damage attack. She's just intended to go. Look at these runes, man. You look at this rune, you're like, I would sell that on every single account. This must have been a legendary rune that could have gone, <laughs> could have gone uh, well. I mean, it's not, it's not completely terrible. But why do we have to roll? The most rolled uh, stat was resistance on here. Um, so with this crit rate leader skill. That gives her effectively 89% uh, crit rate, which is not bad. I mean, you still want more. Uh, but it's really nothing too special. It's just on whatever the F runes, man. It's like, you look at it, you're like, that's not enough damage to be... Why is she the same speed as Lucian now that I'm thinking about it? But uh, but yeah, with her crit rate leader skill, she actually has decent crit rate. Um, I think she was just being used with her Chloe and Covenant in Guild Wars. That's really all I was using her for. But, uh, but yeah, she's... Uh, Let's take a look at the crit rate on all of these, because 23, so this is at 97% crit rate. No, yeah, 97% crit rate, yeah, 97% crit rate. These are just the runes, that all attack. everything is on attack or damage attack. Just try to get as much juice out of them as possible, even if they're on some weird two sets like shield. Actually, the shield was good for Necro, because there's no healer in the team, right? So, uh, attack, crit damage, attack, but this is the same, and you can take a look at the Necro video as well if you want some more uh, information on how that... Uh, how that goes. Uh, just Rage Blade, attack, or damage, attack, blah, blah. Uh, and this is going to be at 80, 90, 92, 92% 92 uh, crit rate after the leader skill. And this is going to be at uh, 90. Oh, this is going to be 100% crit rate after the leader skill. And this is just on shield. Again, shield is good for Necro. We put shield, uh, some of these aren't skilled up uh, fully. Because it takes Devilmon or Second Awaken, more Second Awaken monsters. Uh, so actually, everything is on shield. I. It was before, before it was on, like, not, it was on, like, focus sets or something like that, right? But we actually did eventually get the rest of the shield sets on it. So, attack or damage tech. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and then this is, by the way, you can change, you can put this, if, you, if I went too fast, you can always put this on, like, slower speed. YouTube has the option of putting it on slower speed. If I ever do that in any videos, um, go too fast when showing runes. Uh, you can slow it down by using the slower speed on the YouTube settings. And don't even, and, and please, please, for the love of God, mute me. Because I don't want to be like, And this is the crit damage. Please, please. Do me the favor of not listening to me like that. Uh, you're like, Bagel, that's what you always sound like, though. You always sound like that. Some more roots. Okay, okay, okay. So this is what, 88% uh, crit? <laughs> Some of you are laughing so hard right now because you're like, we already did that. We already did that, Bagel. That's hilarious. Uh, let's let's see it some more, though. Let's see some more. And then we'll do some Guild Wars. But I just thought this would be a nice team to show you guys because this is a consistent and fast dungeon team. Dragon V10 team. And I think a lot of you guys want consistent and fast and not pay to win, right? So, some of those, a lot of those runes are like blue runes or whatever, and not anything crazy. If you don't have rage runes, use fatal runes. That's just, that's just an all the time thing for the most part. If you don't have rage runes, use fatal runes. Unless we're talking about like copper and bulldozer, because then that's not quite the same, right? Ooh, so let's see what happens here. Actually, it's gonna be just fine, because we have the attack power buff. And then, worst case scenario, Kali has the uh, invincibility and she has ignore defense, so she's not gonna die from the hit. And then she's just gonna be able to ignore defense the uh, the next time. But I was actually I was using twins in here before, and um, and this actually sped the team up. The twins were consistent, but this uh, this is just a little faster, <laughs> which is crazy. We're using twin. We were using all four stars, and we were using twins, and then Galleon and uh, Water Chimera, uh, and then three stars are actually just faster. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. Three stars are just because they're so. These Inukamis are so insane. They really are. They really are so insane. Oh my god, they do so much. Please defense break, please. Oh, what happens when you don't defense break? Oh my god, please defense break. Oh, <laughs> they're, they're they're like no, we're fine. They they have the attack buff, right? So if they don't have any attack buff and don't have any defense break, and the uh, the boss has immunity. Then it's going to be a problem, but uh, as long as they have attack buff. 
As long as they have one or the other, then they should be good. But they missed a decent amount of defense breaks, though. So let's see it a couple more times, and then we'll do some Guild Wars, and then maybe we'll do... Hold on. Pull. First off. First off. Pull the schizoph schizophrenicgamer.com. How many more uh, Inugami videos do you want to see? The choices are 45, 55, 145, or 245. One of those options. Well, we're going to do all Inugamis for the rest of the year. That's, that's the whole thing. The shift in Summoner's War is just the shift to Inugami only. That's the whole, uh, that's the whole game. Anyway, uh, before we go into doing some Guild Wars or whatever, <laughs> are we going to actually add Guild Wars or are we not going to add Guild Wars? Um, there is, by the way, I've been because I've been talking about the shift, right? So just in case you are not uh, aware, there is the shift live stream. Uh, Summoner's War Dev Q&A. They're going to be showing a whole lot of stuff about what the shift is. It is basically, it is a little bit, by the time you're watching this, it might be in like 24 hours by now. Or maybe even less if you're watching this the day after I post this. Anyway, it is, for me, it is Saturday night uh, at 9 p.m. Uh, no, not for me. For, if you're in like California or like the west coast of the country, right? West coast uh, of America, because I know a lot of you are not even in uh, America. If you're in Europe, it's somewhere between 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. If you are on the east coast of uh, America, it's it's uh, midnight. I may keep that. That's a decent uh, fire. We might be able to fire Nagami. Uh, <laughs> fifth fire Nagami. Yes. I I don't really want to keep that, but I it, it might be. Uh, nah, I'm just gonna sell that. Never mind. I changed my mind already. Um, it is on. The official Summoner's War YouTube channel, and then it's also on twitch.tv slash com to us USA. I'm sure many of you will be watching it on live. Well, actually, it's, it's we're on YouTube right now, so many of you may be watching it live on YouTube. Uh, who even knows? Uh, so it's a live stream event revealing details of the next big update hitting Summoner's War, followed by a Q&A session about changes. Uh, fans who attend the stream also get various in-game rewards. It's kind of like the other ones that we saw, right? It's kind of like any time they do a live stream where they're like, giveaway codes. That's basically what it is right um and then it's going to be the help head the help the head of development dis division ju Wan lee and head director Young kim uh, will introduce and explain the new update then host the q a 50 influencers from 50 influencers from around the globe are also attending and will participate in the q a i my, my invite must have got uh lost in the mail right come to us they're like yeah what invite i'm trying to save your face come to us i know you didn't invite me um, but anyway, Blowout Livestream hosted by lead, lead developers to give a deep dive look into the next game-changing update coming to Summoner's War. More than 50 well-known influencers around the world are attending the livestream. Again, didn't invite me or tell me. All, all I saw was the same stuff you saw. I got, like, no insider information, no, like, heads up or anything into that. Um, about all that stuff. Uh, de de definitely recommend. Not gonna want to miss this. Uh... Can't share details of the update just yet, but if you want any... Recommend stopping by to peek at the next big thing. Yeah, that's basically it. It's basically nothing. It's basically... Here's the thing. It's basically like the same thing that they show in the game. Like the D-3 shift. Big, big new update. Just reminding you guys that it's again on um, 9 p.m. PST uh, on Saturday. Which is, of course, Sunday in... Sunday, like... 6 to 9 a.m. ish if you're in Europe or the Middle East. Uh, for example, it's 12 p.m. midnight for me here on the East Coast. Just letting, letting you guys know. Uh, and it's and it's 1 p.m. if you're in Korea. It's 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Perfect time to host a business luncheon. 1 p.m. in Korea. But that's when they do, they do things like on Korea schedule. They're like, yeah, you guys, whatever time it is for you, this is the time on Korea schedule. If whatever time it happens to land on for you is what time it lands on. Like, Epic 7 does, like, their streams at 6 a.m. for me. 6 a.m. Release new units at 6 a.m. Like, it's, it's like, what is it, like, 7 p.m. over there in Korea. But it's, like, 6 a.m. here. So I'm like, if I want to know anything about Epic 7, it's 6 a.m. I have to stay up for the live stream. Anyway, let's go do some Guild Wars. I have no idea what these decks are. I'm looking at these decks. I'm like, I could have sworn that Kali Covenant thing was a deck. What are these decks? <laughs> Whatever. We're still going to use Kali Covenant. We're going to do this first team. Uh, we could just bruise this out with fire DPS units, can't we? 
Can we just uh, do one of these and do one of these and do one of these and we call it a day, basically? Uh, HP 21%. Oh, I don't want 21%. I want. I mean, 21% is great, but are you finished? No, you're not finished. Okay, you're not finished. Let's go for Perna then. We're gonna go for the, the we're gonna go for the Perna. Second one, we'll just do, um... Doesn't Chloe, Liz, is, is there no Chloe? There's Chloe on this again. Oh, maybe that's why, <laughs> that's why it's taken out. Okay, we'll do uh, one of these. We'll do a, yeah, we'll do a Kali Covenant. Wait, who's that Perna gonna hit? No, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. Are we gonna be faster? Oh, we could go with this, but we do need the... Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay, we should be fine. Let's do this. Yeah. Very exciting uh, defense. Very high level defenses of having... Uh, well, I mean, it, it, it kind of works a little bit, though. Amputation magic. We should be able to survive. No, he did get some crits in, though. Oh, this girl is seriously doing her thing. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's do, let's do Lucian then. Let's do one of these. Should get some debuffs. We'll do one of these. But all you have to do against these Lucian teams is just bring in fire tanky bruisers. Man, we got the glancing though. I don't want a glancing hit. I think he's built, yeah, he's definitely built squishier. He's definitely built squishier. And we'll just do this, and then we'll auto. Okay, so this one's easy though. And we'll see, we'll see how the Kali Covenant, uh, the Kali Covenant thing goes. It's not gonna go well, is it? I already know it's not gonna go well. And then it'll take 25 minutes to auto through this uh, bastard. Oh, they were fast, okay. They were fast. Let's do suppressive fire on you. Try to uh, snipe him out. I knew we were. I knew we were gonna have problems as soon as we did some guild wars. <laughs> I was like, okay, click the record button. They're like, they're already going. I thought we were going to. Uh, I thought we were gonna be able to outspeed though. With at least with this, uh, the what's her face, the paladin. But they were like, nah, <laughs> you ain't outspeeding. Even without the attack buff, uh, Covenant does a decent amount of damage. We'll do you. We'll do one of these. And then we'll do one of these. And then we'll- No! <clears throat> that should kill- No, that didn't kill. That's great. That's- that's why you bring the Chloe in. That's why you bring the Chloe- She should be able to take a decent amount of damage though. I- I really wasn't expecting the- the-, the Expecting them to kill there. Is she not skilled up? I thought she was. I thought she was skilled up. Let's do a speed buff. Let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. I thought she had a uh, less cooldown. And we've we've got this. This is just fine. This just takes a second. <laughs> takes a second. It's more than a second. Takes a. Uh, takes a minute. Oh no, don't tell me he procs. Don't tell me he keeps procking. But yeah, I guess that's why we didn't have the, uh, have that team. Yeah, we'll just do one of these. Yeah, we'll just do one of these again. <laughs> he doesn't want to die. <laughs> he doesn't want to die. Actually, she's kind of better than Chloe, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. She's definitely better than Chloe. Unless you're using, uh, let's just do that, whatever. Second team, I would love to bulldoze this, but I did say, I do believe I did say we're gonna take this team into Guild Wars. So we're gonna Dragon's V10, uh, Kali, Fire, Nagami, the first team. I don't know if this is gonna work. It's probably not gonna work, but we're gonna do it anyway. It doesn't matter, we're gonna do it anyway. For the second team, uh, we are gonna do, what are we gonna do for this? Uh, uh, both, everything should hit. The Fingen and the Perna should hit the, uh, this girl, the Paladin, right? So, we should be okay. She's got immunity, she's got shield, there's shield runes on the team. So, we should be okay. We should be okay. <laughs>
<laughs> I want to see this Amelia solo. I really, I feel like I'm going to see an Amelia solo. So let's go. Let's go. Second team, we could just auto it, set it, forget it, and uh, just click auto, right? So that's the game plan. <laughs> that's the game plan. <laughs> freeze! She's going to get another turn. She's going to freeze. Okay. We're okay for now. We're okay for now. We will do one of... I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll do one of these. And then we'll see. I don't think we can actually kill this Perna, can we? Let's try to uh, decrease cooldowns. Yeah, there we go. We did some stuff. <laughs> we did some stuff. Let's do one of these. Let's do... Hey! That's the beauty of decreasing cooldowns. We'll do one of these. Very nice. We'll do one of these. Very nice. We get another turn. We have uh, one of these. Beautiful! Oh, let's see it. Let's see. Let's see her solo. Let's see Amelia solo. This has happened. This has actually happened to me before. She's she's feeling like she's like, yeah, I'm going to definitely. So look how much this fire Nagami decreases cooldowns. It's crazy. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think we were going to crit. I, I, I'm not at all surprised. I did not think we were going to crit on that. Why are you not crit? Oh my god, broken game. This game is so broken, guys. Can you even believe that we didn't crit on that? Wow. With no crit rate? Wow, it's so crazy. It's I can't even believe that we didn't crit on that. Oh, clearly deleting the game immediately. So this one we could just... Uh, wait, wait, wait. At least throw the rock up first. At least throw the rock up. And then we'll set it and forget it, right? Because <laughs> you know the AI is going to be like, oh, by the way... Oh, that's speed tuned. I forgot about that. I forgot I actually speed tuned it on this account for Rakuni to go right after the, uh, I was gonna say Dark Skogel. I actually don't remember his name, so we'll just go with Dark Skogel. <laughs> we'll legitimately go with Dark Skogel, but that's actually speed tuned um, for the Rakuni to move after that. So, yeah. And just increase the attack gauge. Boom, boom. So we won the first two, those went, went fine. Let's just, go, let's just go completely off the reservation. First team, we've got double fairies and a Lauren. When do we ever see the wind fairy? Let's see what she's capable of. <laughs> Not capable of it's too much, that's why. I mean, she's got a cleanse. She's got some damage. She's got some tech age reduction and some stuns. She requires insane runes to actually make good. She's one of the hardest, hardest units to rune in the entire game. Very, very, very difficult to rune. Um, she, can do, she should be able to do a little bit of damage, though, here. Uh, and then the second team is this. I don't have to explain the second team, you guys. I think you guys know the second team is a little silly. Uh, but we're gonna do it. Here we go. You're not enough energy. Yeah, I know. I know. We gotta so so whale so <laughs> so whale our 256 crystals. Oh my god. All right. So uh, should hit the. Oh, can we strip this off? No. But we did get the attack power break. We do have two cleanses here. Why is she going to get everything? She's going to get everything now. I see how it is. Let's get the Purify. Let's get, yeah, let's get the Purify. Let's do this. Let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. Eventually, eventually we're going to get this girl. Eventually we're going to get her. Oh, that almost stopped. That's, if it, if it would have crit, that would have sniped her down. Let's do one of these. And then let's do... Who's gonna move next? That Sierra's still gonna move next, right? Okay. That's why we don't see too much of her. Let's do some of these. Let's do some of these. Decrease uh, some of these. Let's do... Uh, that, that's some pretty... Oh! Violent Prox. Violent Prox and Violent Prox. And now we gotta... <laughs> We gotta cleanse some more stuff. Let's get another sleep on Fred. No, we didn't get a sleep on Fred. Oh my god. Let's get the uh, freeze. There we go. Let's get you go to bed then. Okay, now we should be. Never mind. Now we should be able to see how much damage she can do. Oh, she's <laughs> she got a glancing hit. You know she got glance, right? Yeah, I I knew she was gonna. I knew that was gonna happen. Lols. At least. <laughs> <laughs> at least we're winning with this. I'm not really sure how, but at least we're winning with this. Uh, let's do some of these. Let's do... Yeah, let's do some more of these. I, I wouldn't mind seeing some more of uh, what you're... 
kind of capable of. Kind of capable of doing mediocre damage. And that's about it. Hey, let's do, uh... Let's do some of you. Never mind. Does that kill? Nice. And we'll do one of you. And he's gonna do his thing. Man, that Fengen is gonna solo this whole thing, isn't he? That Fengen's gonna solo. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it now, that Fengen's gonna solo. <laughs> he was stunned, but now he's just uh, awake again. Fengen solo, let's go. Unless we try to stun him. Is that a smart idea? Or should we just go destructive punch, kill this Perna? Three on one, I'm, I'm calling a Fengen solo. Okay, can we stun? Nice stun! Nice stun. Decrease attack age. He's gonna get his attack age back though. Can we stun? I'm, we're, we're not, I know we weren't gonna stun there. Can we stun here? Okay. There we go. We'll do one of these. Get that crit rate buff. Another stun. Oh, we actually stunned there! Wow, I didn't think any of this was gonna work. Honestly, I didn't think any of this was gonna work. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Those are some... I did not think any of that stuff was... Every time we do Guild Wars, I'm like, whatever I think is gonna happen is not what happens. Uh, but at least we got... We, at least we're able to finally play with the Wind Fairy. Because this post-it note... You guys can't even see the post-it note. This post-it note has been on my desk for forever. So finally that post-it is gone because I was supposed to do a Wind Fairy video like forever ago, right? Basically forever ago. Anyway, that's it for this one. Again, uh, we're on Twitch. We're gonna do our Transcendence for Europe server account. That should be, because we do RTA there, right? So that should be uh, either very disappointing or very exciting. One or the other, one or the other. And then of course the shift, um, I already said five million times what the time and date and place and everything was. Saturday, 9 p.m. PST, which is like again, midnight Eastern time for US. Europe is like 6 to 9 a.m. And the Middle East is like same thing, 6 to 9 a.m. 1 p.m. in Korea though, so. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the day for uh, for Asia. But anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.